say hi to my Fura, or is it pronounced Fura? Let's hope so, I guess. F-U-A-R is the company name. Uh, this is a knife that Gearbest sent to me for review. And as you know, I generally try to minimize bias as much as possible. In this case, I have a bit of a bias against it, just because it's a clone, and I don't generally like that. Now, if it's inspired by a particular design, or if it's you know just fairly close, but you can still tell the difference, that's one thing. But this is just straight up completely copied. So uh, I found out about that after I got it. This is a clone of the Bean Slip Joint Flipper by Serge Panchenko. And they went so far as to even counterfeit his maker's mark. Shame on you, Fira. You're literally Hitler. Okay, I'll stop that. But seriously, I do not like this. That's just... It's disrespectful to the maker, and it's just... I hate to see that. However, there are some good things about it. For one, this seems to be out of stock pretty much everywhere. At least that I was looking everywhere I found this. It's set out of stock, so it may be discontinued. You may have only made a few of these. So if it's not available otherwise, then, you know, it's still nice to be able to get at least a clone. If only it wasn't a full counterfeit. Anyway, so, and of course the other thing is with custom knives like this, they tend to get very, very expensive. I don't know how much this, this is, it doesn't say anywhere, but I'm guessing several hundred. Now this, on the other hand, is 20 to 30 Canadian dollars, depending on whether or not it's on sale at the time, which is 15 to 25 US dollars. Now, the amazing thing about that is the materials. This is S35VN steel, which I've talked about in a previous review. Um, Got to put the information in the video description, as usual. So in short, this is very high quality steel. And it's also TC4 titanium alloy handle. So those are pretty high quality materials. Also in terms of fit and finish, this is really well done, actually. So this is not locking, like I said earlier, it's a slip joint design. So there are ball detents, you can see. So there's a divot in the blade here, and you can probably also see the circular line from where uh, the ball bearing rubs against the blade. And you can see this cutout here that acts like a spring. So if you open that, you can maybe see this move. Let me see if I, it's about as close as I can bring it. I don't know if you can see that, but this just snaps into that divot, which is this one right here. So it doesn't lock. There's there's a bit of resistance because of that detent. But uh, it will, if you push against it, it will close quite easily. And also when closing it fully, the other divot will catch. This is quite an interesting design. And again, all credit for this design goes to Panchenko. So you can see there's this stop right here that rests in the cutout on the frame when it's closed. And um, as you open it, it rests on the other side, stops there. So this is what prevents it from over traveling. And it looks really nice. It's, it makes it perfectly symmetrical. At least the handle, the blade obviously isn't. And it looks quite nice. It's got the holes here to make it a bit lighter. Overall, it's quite a light design. There's just one pillar here, and otherwise there is the pivot screw right there. The uh, pocket clip right there is one position only, so it's a right side tip up. Like I said about the fit and finish, it's surprisingly good. You can see the centering here is flawless, which is pretty important for a design like this because you see how little space there is. It's really quite tight. So if this was off to one side or the other, it would rub against the frame, which this one doesn't. You can see the space there in between. So 
it clears quite nicely as I, when I open it I said it doesn't lock but sideways blade play I don't feel anything so it's it's nice and um, you know, well fitted so you can see here the point is far enough away from that pillar and otherwise it's completely open so there's nothing that can make contact with the edge so it's not going to wear down and of course it's nice to have the flipper which works perfectly you can also open it with the thumb if you prefer but you know it's two movements whereas this here just snaps open just like that without any effort so that's quite nice a bit of a weird thing is the blade shape here so personally i would prefer if this did not stick out and it's not really necessary so it's i suppose it's kind of a modified sheep's foot blade either way i don't think you would lose anything if that wasn't there it doesn't need to be that wide and if it wasn't then this would be perfectly flush which would look better and also would be just a little more compact and overall as you can see it's it is a very small knife obviously which comes you know with the drawback of not having that much cutting edge but that's also a bonus depending on where you are for example in the uk there is a certain blade length restriction you know you can carry any kind of pocket knife in public without having to give any good reason if it's under what was it seven point something centimeters and this here is shorter and also it doesn't lock so some countries have restrictions on locking folders really the only thing is if where you are there is any restriction on one-handed opening knives uh, but otherwise with that exception this should be legal everywhere however as far as the size is concerned this is not the most efficient shape because you've got obviously the flipper sticking out quite a bit with uh, larger knives you generally just have a bit of the flipper poking out here it doesn't elongate it that much more and uh, the edge only starts here this by the way is a sharpening troil so the idea is here you can sharpen going all the way down there because there's nothing in the way you're not going to bump into the blade and being able to get in there where the troil is can also come in handy in some situations like uh, for example if you wanted to mark something you can actually use that corner like so this came almost hair shaving sharp in fact i can get some hairs off with it just not as easily as some other edges so it will kind of shave hair but it feels a little rough here's the phone book paper test so as you can see perfectly adequate all the way close to the point it's also this sharp so it is consistent also quite an even grind because it's a small and non-locking blade of course it's for light cutting tasks only in fact even something like this cardboard this can already be a little bit dubious i mean it'll cut it just fine but because it doesn't lock i'm a little bit worried about my fingers as i do it you can see you know it already closed a little bit you know if i don't put my my thumb up there it's it seems a little bit less risky but at the same time it's kind of hard to to you know, keep a hold off but you know it can be done as a more secure way you could hold it like this because that way it shouldn't close and uh oh you can cut without having to worry about this closing on you the only drawback is it makes the wrist position a bit awkward because you have to rotate it quite a bit to be able to cut like so it would be easier to cut in 
this direction, but then you're cutting towards yourself, which of course is not safe practice. So I said, good quality, good fit and finish. And uh, you know, the design obviously isn't theirs, but they executed it well, which is good. So yeah, really the only, the only drawbacks I can find is a set I would personally prefer if this was flush for aesthetics and um, you know, to make it just a little more compact and otherwise yeah the main problem is that it is a counterfeit i don't like counterfeits it's just not a nice thing to do but you know if you're looking for this, this design if you like it and it's not available anywhere or if you find it it's way outside of your price range then this is a good option because it's really not expensive and it's pretty amazing how much quality you get for the price I said the materials I would normally expect to cost quite a bit more. So yeah, I, I would grudgingly recommend it. I said grudgingly only because I don't like counterfeits. But otherwise, well done. I gotta give them that. Anyway, specs and link will be down below. Hope you found the review helpful and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.